What's up guys, Sand7 here, and you're looking at my base after getting popped while leaving 1.5 million in the vaults. And, well, the winner is Shredosaurus. And I'm gonna show you how he adjusted his plan. He came in the first time, and he had a go at it. Well, didn't work out all that well. You can see he comes in from the top. You know, he sees the weakness in the base. He sees that there's the gold. You know, I just need to get across there and I can take all the gold. The heroes won't come in until late. Well, and he does. He gets in there, but he didn't take an account for the troops on the left. And that's what made the difference. That tied up a number of his troops, and it gave, well, it basically, it kept Spirit Mage alive for me, and it ended the battle pretty quick, and made it a pretty simple, successful defense. Now, when he comes back, you'll see his adjustment. He's going to bring in a lot of low-level troops, a lot of them, and they're going to take out all eight of my dragons on the left side, which gives him free access to come in and bring his heroes in. You notice he brings in more archers there, and that's to take the aggro from the towers. That's to keep his griffin safe and his troops safe. And by doing that, he absolutely played it perfect. You'll see towers coming in, you know, with druid healing the way he is. And then, you know, boom, he used the uh, in Invincible spell. My Paladin's got no chance there. Not without support. He's tanking for no damage dealer. Obviously, Ninja, I need some more range out of Ninja there. He's not getting anywhere. Champ's already gone. But Ninja saves the day here with uh, level 4 or 5 self-destruct for 325% damage. Without that happening, he, you know... He 100%s me. With Spirit Mage there and Druid, it's 100%. Uh, right now, you can see his Druid is methodically taking down my tower. And he'll move on to the hero bases. And then, as soon as he gets past the hero bases, these two right here, he's going to have to take a step forward for the Town Hall. And that's when the Dragons will end him. And well, actually, he's got a little more time with it, huh? But another step for the dragon's end him, and then it's one arrow for the griffin, and it's over. But again, without ninja coming in and the and blowing up basically where all those little grave markers are, I get hundred percented. And he picks up another sixty thousand plus. I think it might have been another fifteen that's in. The gold mine that is the far gold mine, basically. It's I'm leveling it right now, and it has a full 60k. But that's the battle. That's the end. Either way, a 60% with 311,000 gold taken, even with losing, you know, 45 archers, nine griffins, and his entire hero force and two spells. It's an unbelievably successful raid. And hats off to you, Shredosaurus. And, well, I'm going to make some improvements, and hopefully I'll do better next time. But, good job, sir, and I hope to see you out there raiding again, man. Sand7 out.